Hey everybody, the Bong is back. Welcome to part 3 of Let's Play Monster Party, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, I mentioned at the end of the last episode that I hate level 6 for a very good reason. And you know what that reason is? It's a maze! Yes, it's a freaking maze full of killer tables, killer white pants. Yes, killer white pants. I can't believe I'm actually uttering that sentence. But yeah, you have to try to find your way to get the key by killing one monster. Yes, there's only one monster you need to kill, which is good. But the fact is, you have to look for the monster. Killer high chairs. You have to look for the monster, which is bad. Worst case scenario, you find the exit before you find the monster. Which can happen. Happened to me once or twice in my lifetime. Am I going backwards? I really hope I'm not. And the music, it's just terrible! I mean, it's wind! A big gale storm going off in the background, and that's all you hear. And it looks like, sounds like some kind of bell or something going... Which is a total pain in the ass! Wait, there's another door over here. Let me try this one. It's not going to take me anywhere, it just took me below where I started from. From the previous room. Oh my god, I don't even know where I'm going anymore. Okay, I'm vertified again, which is nice. Why did it just took me back to the big? Oh my god, I took a wrong door! That's the one door you don't want to take, it takes you back to the freaking beginning! Like, I'm just trying to go right pretty much every chance I get. It's pretty much my only option. I just wish I memorized where it is you have to go. But that in itself is a pain in the ass. Oh my god. Look at this! You're going pretty much all over the place. Hoping to find the right way. Most of the time, you're not going to find the right way. Instead, you're just going to keep wandering around aimlessly, hoping to find something, only to get absolutely nowhere. How do I feel about this door? I don't know how to feel. Let's just keep going through here. Go through here, no. I'm losing my fortification. I really need to renew my certificate. Come on now! Okay, when I went through that way, that just took me back where I started. So why don't we try this door over here? Oh, yeah, I was here before, wasn't I? Yeah, I was. So I made no progress, pretty much. <laughs> this is so bad! You, you're wandering around aimlessly, hoping to find a way out. You actually may not. You keep wandering around, hoping to find something. Instead, I'll just make a big major setback. I don't know, but did I try this door? Oh, let me try the one on the left this time. Something a little different. Wait, did I find the exit? I knew this would happen! I knew it! I freaking knew it! That I'll find the exit first! Guess what happened? I gotta think of a door that I have not taken at all. So far, that's near impossible, because I've practically taken all the doors. Well, that one's going to take me back to the beginning, so why don't I try a different door over here? Oh, that was a stupid move there. I might get lucky enough to find the exit. No, I mean find the monster. But I don't remember what room it is. This is a total pain in the balls right here. Why did I do that again? Seriously! Whoever designed this level... ...was a total dick in real life. It's like, I'm pretty sure he joined up to make this project just for the sole sake... ...of pissing someone off. And practically gave him a free copy of this game, straight, straight to level 6, here you go, there's the whole game! I can't believe I just did that again! 
But maybe this is needed. I just need to think. Where could I go next? Maybe I can try over here. This seems a little different. I'm not guaranteeing this will take me to where I need to go. But I'm just hoping for the best. Like, I need a Christmas miracle right now. Just take me to the monster I need to kill. I'm going somewhere different, which is a very positive sign. How positive, I don't know. Could be positive enough. Oh my god, I'm actually marked for the first time in this stage in a long time. I mean, this stage is so bad that it actually changed the color of his jersey to yellow. He probably thought the stage sucked so bad that he pissed himself completely. Oh my god, I found the monster! Which one? Oh god. Okay, so you have to like... You have all these faces there that are trying to chase you or just wandering around aimlessly. You have to find the real one and focus on that one at all times. Luckily, it's the only face that can hurt you. They're not gonna throw in some kind of bullshit mechanic to have like all these faces hurt you. And only one of them you can hurt. It's just very difficult to hit because it moves around sporadically. Oh my god, I finally got him! So now, I need to find the way back to the exit! I was there once! Can I get there again? I'll try this way. Oh, that actually worked. I don't really think this is the right spot, though. But I'm willing to try anything. Twice if I like it. This really helped me out. If I can get some more health, that'll be great. Come on, table, you know you want it. Uh, is this the right door? I definitely don't want to take the far right one. Because that'll just send me back to the beginning. And I don't want to do that. What was the door I'd taken to get to the exit? Was it to the left, actually? I know there was a left door. Yes, it was. Perfect. Okay, so my memory didn't completely fail me. Which is good. Time for stage seven. All right. This one is not too bad, but there is one mechanic that you have to be very, very, very careful about. Well, you're gonna find out when I get to that point. It's just a simple tower, no big deal. The enemies here are actually pretty easy. This uh, demon catcher or demon umpire, I think it's a catcher. It will try to walk right into you, but it's pretty easy, especially if you're Burt. And again, most any enemy is easy if you're Burt. These guys are quite easy too, because they just go in a simple pattern. Proud of it. Let's see who's in this door over here. I'm Royce. Um, hi, Royce. Nice bed. Not much else, though. So, yeah, this caterpillar is called Royce, and he rolls all the time. I'm guessing that's just a play on the vehicle Rolls Royce. It makes perfect sense. I mean, why else would you call yourself Royce? If not, all you're doing is rolling. So we're on the fourth floor of this tower. There's nothing here except enemies. But if they could have given me some health, I would have been super. So what, am I going to be yellow for the rest of the game for some reason? I don't know why we suddenly changed palettes, but okay. I'll take it. Come again! Uh, no. How about... no. But, in any case, we're doing quite good. I mean, we're not having any problems with health, even though we took quite a few from Royce. He's such a lovable caterpillar. He'll be a Metapod one day. But will he still be called Royce? Because Metapods don't roll. They just flail around, hoping to get somewhere, and they just keep tipping back. Welcome, entrance to hell. Uh, hey Death, what's up? 
Once again, an actual easy boss, even though the faces can be a total pain in the ass. I'm guessing you would have to be Mark to be able to bat them back at him. But I was not Mark, I was Bert. But we got the key already, which is quite surprising because we're only like halfway through the stage. And coming up real soon is where the bullshit mechanic is going to take place. In fact, I'm gonna have to like say state outside of that just to show it off to you. Because it's one thing that can really cost you in this entire level. Not in the entire game, because you can still get killed and redo your progress. That has been seemingly undone because of it. But I don't think this is the door. No, it isn't. So, I think it's this one. Okay, is this the door? Saving. I will suck all your blood again. You didn't do it the first time. So, you had to take on the spider for a second time. Very easy. There you go. And here's what happens. You lose the key that you had. So, yeah, that's probably some kind of glitch where... You're supposed to, like, kill all the monsters, including the spider, to get the key. But since we got the key from the Grim Reaper, just trying to kill another monster probably caused a glitch in the level, or in the entire game, which costs you the key you currently had. And then you can't go back and get another one. At least I don't think you can with those come again rooms. But yeah, there's no reason to go through any of the other doors. And if you were able to, like, exploit the glitch and then lose your key, your only safe course of action is to kill yourself and then play through the level again. So yeah, that's quite a total pain, but at least we got stage 7 clear. So now it's time for level 8, which is technically the last level of the game, and what the hell was that? Apparently an enemy just spawned right there. Okay, when it came to level 8, I was unable to finish it at first, because I forgot you had to go left first to find a church, and I can't believe there's actually a Christian symbol there, because you know how Nintendo feels about religious symbols. Especially in that time. Watch out, baby! And now we gotta take on this killer serpent. Which is a total pain in the ass, because you can take a lot of damage, and it homes in on you. You can only target its head, but its entire body can hurt you! Look at the damage I'm taking here! This is ridiculous! It's not even dead yet! Finally! And that was at full health, too. Almost reduced to half. Oh my god! And... I'm guessing that's supposed to be dynamite, but at first it looked like candles being held by doves. Going kamikaze on me. Yes, kamikaze doves with killer candles. Monster party in a nutshell. Ooh, more health. Apparently there was no monster in that tower. No extra health. No reason to go for the witch because it has a ton of health, sadly. But at least its projectiles are very easy to dodge. Let's try this room. Face my wrath! Uh, how about you face mine? And we'll see how I face yours. Looks like some kind of skeletal cyclops. Oh, I could use some health badly. Like I said, no reason to go for the witch I think I should have docked. Because that witch has a focus. Very determined to go to the left for some reason. There's always something special to the left. Probably a bake sale. With those I am new cookies. Uh, should I go in this tower? No, there was nothing. And yeah, what you just saw was the Big Dipper coming to life, ready to inflict death. Yes, I'm not kidding. The Big Dipper is evil in this game. But you can't kill constellations. Yeah, I can't believe I'm actually saying that. Having to explain you cannot kill constellations. The Monster Party story. Wow. <laughs> oh boy, Mark Soup. Wait. That looked like some kind of Shinto shrine. 
And yet, we're taking on an Egyptian creature? Okay, now I've seen everything. That does not look Egyptian to me. Looks more Japanese, maybe Greek. Or Roman, and I can't believe I'm missing those kamikaze doves. Hey, the letter H, and it wants to kill me. Okay, I need more health badly, because coming up is the final boss. And with that much health, I stand very little chance. Wait, I'm going to get some health back from practically getting to the end. I know it's not over here. You have to look for a castle. A white castle, so to speak. When you find it, then, well, you're in the clear. Not today, Big Dipper! You're not getting me. I'm going to get health from finishing the level anyway, but I would like to get a little bit more. Because, you know, final boss and all. Wow, that witch took that many shots and still didn't die. That's a hardcore witch. And we're done! We finished level 8! Now we have to take on the final boss of the game. With this little health we have... You beat everybody! Beat me, and you can leave. Come and die. So yeah, you have these eyes being shot up from the mouth that home in on you, do a substantial amount of damage, and oh, I won. Well, that wasn't really much then. Mark destroyed the monsters. Bert gave him a gift. Next line, period. And Mark went home. He excitedly opened the box, and for some reason his parents never asked what took him so long. A beautiful princess came out. Baby, yeah. I'm gonna get late tonight, yeah. I have another bat, if you know what I mean. But suddenly, the princess became a monster. And more monsters followed her. Oh dear god, her face is melting. And more monsters! Oh man, let me get my bat and my pills. Mark was scared and screamed. Ah! Oh my god, is his body melting? And for some reason, the sheets are still white. Mark was awakened by his mom. You'll be late! It was a dream. And yet, he's not going to therapy after having a dream where he batted cats, faced an Egyptian dog in a Shinto shrine, and his body melted! And yet, he feels ready to go to school! And the sun's smiling at him. That's really what he needed. I'm leaving! Mark opened the door. Period. In the next line again. Bert was there. He whispered to Mark. Period. Let's go again! Yes, he's holding a bat. That's really encouraging. And that's it! That's Monster Party for the NES! Wow, this is a very... strange, creepy, yet interesting game... back in the old days. I, I still can't believe that I didn't have therapy when I was a kid. But yeah, this is a fun game if you're into that kind of challenge, into something completely different from slender face cam videos or amnesia face cam videos all the time. So yeah, anyways, this is the Bonga signing off saying goodbye, Godspeed, and stay tuned for my next Let's Play. I still can't wonder why his mom wondered why is our gargoyle holding a baseball bat at our front door? Huh, that goes to show she doesn't really care about him at all. Maybe he's adopted. See ya.